Hello everybody and welcome to some more Beady Armoury. Uh, I know it's been a while, I've managed to find time to uh, squeeze out a quick video in between all the uh, all the childcare. And today we are taking a look at the latest release of BD Armoury. This is version 1.4.1 of the uh, the version of BD Armoury, the fork of BD Armoury that is being developed for uh, Scott Manley's runway project. I mean, I say the fork. I mean, the main the main branch isn't being developed anymore, and this will ultimately become the new BD Armoury. So it's it. This is what BD Armoury is now. Let's just uh, let's let's skip over the semantics and get on with it. There's been a whole host of uh, new additions to this, so we'll be taking a look at some of them, as well as uh, some I could have covered last time, but uh, didn't get round to, which is basically just my way of covering myself in case I didn't notice anything last time and say, oh, this is a new edition, and it, uh, and it isn't. One thing that you won't find in this release, but you will find um, coming soon, is the addition of my Cyclone as one of the BD Armoury stock craft. Uh, you can see it here fighting a couple of my Tiger Tails in the latest version of BD Armoury. It's a version that's been tuned by someone else, so it performs much better than I could have got it to do, but um, anyway, that's by the by. Let's crack on with it and see what this version has to offer. So we start here in the space plane hangar because there's a few parts I just want to take a look at. I mean, first of all, we've got the, uh, the BD Armoury parts list up here. There's a lot more options for uh, armour panels. They've added a whole host of these, which um, it should hopefully aid you in your uh, weird and wonderful creations. Something that was I just checked and turns out was added a little while ago, but I didn't notice, is this, the open cockpit. Um, which, I mean, how adorable is that? Uh, this works with the EAS-2 external combat seat. It's BD Armoury's own take on the... Um, the external command seat but it comes with its own AI and if I can just get that yep how adorable is that gonna be on a craft oh I so need to make something with that now um, yeah but the um, the part that's been kind of grabbing the headlines I'm just open up and grab my uh, one of my own fighters the part that's been uh, grabbing the headlines is one of the new engines let me just load my little wasp fighter up here my ultra small fighter now, it previously, if you wanted an afterburning engine in the uh, 0.625 uh, meter profile, you had to go for the Tiger afterburning engine. I think that's in Airplane Plus. Um, but now you have a new option. Let me just bring up the uh, engines. I think it'll be easy to find that way. Now you have the Typhoon afterburning jet engine. Yeah. <laughs> And most, like most of the uh, the BD Armory engines, this this is ridiculously overpowered compared to its uh, <laughs> compared to its alternatives. Uh, let's uh, let's get it on the runway and uh, see what it can do. Here we are then on the runway. Valentina Kerman has very very bravely volunteered to be our test pilot for this one. Uh, so let's get going. We're gonna stop the engine, kick in with the afterburners. I've done a couple of test runs of this. You cannot you cannot take off with this thing with the engines up all the way. In fact, the only way I've found to be able to do this is to just very, very gently do it about a third throttle. And then when you're going fast enough, just see if you can actually take off. Oh, this isn't looking good. Come on. There we go. And now let's kick in. Let's raise the landing gear. And let's kick in with full throttle. And, yep, this thing is ridiculous. The whole point of it, uh, at least the thing people are excited about is that it means you don't have to just spam a load of Tiger engines but it is it is just absurd um, but we won't hold that against it I mean I might when I'm having to drop the rules for the next season of fighter subscriber but um, you know that's by the by anyway that's um that's a few of the uh, the few of the well a few of the new parts and a couple of the old ones uh, but uh, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the other newer features that have uh, been implemented since the last time we uh, we covered this just a quick aside before we return to the space plane hangar, uh, something I discussed in the last video I did on this um, for version 1.4.0, uh, I talked about um, some planned changes with the uh, the Sidewinder missiles, which are <laughs> we're a little bit overpowered. Uh, those changes have now been implemented and now, well, I, I got in trouble in an earlier video or live stream for saying that the uh, the Sidewinders have been nerfed um, or that the, um, the flares have been buffed, but... Whatever it is, the Sidewinders are now no longer the almost guaranteed kill against AI pilots that they once were. As you can see in this little uh, this little segment where the Sidewinders are going backwards and forwards, and with the help of some healthy flare use, no kills are made on either side. Uh, moving on. 
So before we get to the uh, the fight, which we were inevitably going to end today's uh, video with, I just want to take a look at some of the AI settings that have been added, because uh, since that last video I mentioned, yeah, they've uh, they've been ramming even more stuff into this. If we look at the uh, the AI settings, you can see there's just there's just so much now that they're all separated into these little categories. We've got the um, the PID controller, which we did look at last time, and you can just extend more and more options there. Um, uh, let's get rid of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's plenty more options here for you to uh, to really, really fine-tune your... Um, fine-tune your strategies with your craft. And uh, speaking of that, let's move on to the weapon manager because there's lots more stuff here as well. If we take a look at this, target priority settings. This this is going to be interesting to, uh, to play around with. It just basically uh, allows you to kind of control how your aircraft uh, picks its target. Lots of different weights here. You can add some countermeasure settings. That's uh, that's another addition. Again, just so you can really, really fine-tune your craft. Um, but that's enough of just speaking about all this stuff. I think it's time that we uh, we go and see it in action. And also take one final look at some of the other options that um, have been introduced to BD Armory recently. Now, during last Saturday's live stream, last Saturday as this video comes out, um, I had some requests towards the end of the uh, the stream to do some extra fights. I didn't really get time for those, so we're just going to look at one of them uh, here. Uh, this is uh, Junimus's Lancer, and we are going to pit that against Brofox's E23. And as I said, gives us an opportunity to look at some of the uh, the other options that have been included since we were last talking about uh, about BD Armory, the uh, the newer versions. Uh, in case you hadn't guessed, this is more kind of a brief overview kind of video than an in-depth tutorial because there's there's just not time. I mean, there's not time in an ordinary video anyway, let alone when you've got a screaming baby to look after. Uh, yes, uh, the number of options generally just keeps increasing. Uh, again, this is one of the other options where they've had to add more of these... Um, uh, these uh, expandable little sections, but the one I want to look at today is battle damage. Now, I haven't actually used this, I haven't actually um, had a chance to actually go ahead and test this, but yeah, it means that if any of your parts get hit, uh, there's a chance they could fail in some way or another. This is currently set to 10%. I'm going to up that a little bit. Uh, 20, 25? 25 sounds good. So we're just going to hide that, and yeah, let's um, let's get it going. Um, also, with BD Army nowadays, I'm not sure when this came in, but uh, Start Competition will uh, turn on any activate any engines that aren't current, currently turned on as well. So uh, yeah, let's get this going. Let's get them up in the air, and I will see you again in a second. Here we go then, both craft. Very, very manoeuvrable. I think both are also packing um, what's coming in there. Those are AIM-120s. Yes, the uh, the Lancer only has the uh, only has uh, four sidewinders on it. Going for a light arm it means it doesn't need a radar as well. Braking low. Uh, this will allow the E23 to uh, shed some of its load. Um, I think it just has the two... Um, yeah, just has the two AMRAMs now launching the Sidewinders, which we're expecting the Lancers to dodge. As I said, not the guaranteed kill against uh, AI pilots they once were. Another Jazz going on here, again comes to nothing. Valentina Kerman. Something happened there, that looked like somebody was hit. Doesn't look like it was uh, too... Um, too fatal though. Ghosty Kerman trying to pull around, trying to uh, engage that E23, but just a little couldn't quite turn around. Gunfire coming in there. One of the Lancers looks to be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, one of the Lancers is in a little bit of trouble. Something's on fire. One of the uh, one of the new effects of the battle damage mod it doesn't seem to be able to control the craft. One of the Lancers goes straight into the ocean. I can only presume that was part of the uh, part of the battle damage thing. Lost control of the craft. Does add an extra little frisson of danger to the to the whole thing. It means that uh, just these glancing hits aren't as um, aren't as inconse in inconsequential if I can talk as once they were. Yeah. Coasty Kerman's craft now on fire. We've got more fire going on there. Smoke 
billowing out of several craft. What's the other one going on there? Oh, it's the Lancers. The Lancers are in trouble. The Lancers are really in trouble. Jebediah Kerman. Scorched again, losing pieces. Looks like the fire has gone out. Might have difficulty with uh, with some of his control surfaces, which is one of the other things that can happen with, uh, with battle damage. Ghosty Kerman. Seems to, uh, doesn't seem to be lacking much maneuverability there and gets a very impressive kill. One of the, uh, one of the E23s is gone. I'm not sure if that was, uh, that was a damage. Another one of the E23s is, uh, has, has been disabled. All the E23s are gone. Daffy Kerman still in control of uh, her craft, but it's not looking too good. I thought the Lancers were out of here. I honestly thought the Lancers were, uh, were were done and dusted, but no, it appears that the um, the E23s have sustained some battle damage, which has crippled their craft. I'm just trying to work out how I'd, how I'd integrate this into Fighter Subscriber without, <laughs> without the craft designers complaining bitterly. Yeah. So the Lancers... Oh, Valentina trying to get a quick revenge kill there. Does manage to uh, get a bit of a hit. Her wingman is gone. Jebediah Kerman's craft has been disabled. I'm not sure if that uh, is the intake being taken out or fuel loss. Yeah, fuel loss. Are we just running, running out of fuel now? I think we're just running out of fuel now. As Ghosty Kerman comes in with uh, more damage onto this E23. That's the other thing that can happen with battle damage. It can strike your fuel tank and cause them to drain prematurely. Um, I think you'll, you've lost a fuel tank, actually. I think everybody is now out of fuel. That seems like a good time to end it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'm going to actually try and take control of this. See if we can uh, see if we can land Ghosty Kerman uh, safely. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, uh, and you haven't already, please uh, feel free to like, subscribe. Uh, if you feel like it, maybe help to support the channel. We have uh, PayPal. There's the Patreon. You can um, you can just uh, follow me on Twitter or get involved with the uh, get involved with the channel Discord. All the links are in the description below, as will be the uh, the links to download this version of BD Armory and some uh, another um, another useful link as well for anybody who wants to use it without. <laughs> feeling too overwhelmed with all the new features. Uh, but yeah, that will be all for today. I'm hoping to bring you some more uh, more KSP videos in the near future. It's, you know, make it slightly more regularly, although that won't be much of a challenge. But um, come on, see if we can get this down. Oh, buttery smooth. Yeah, anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.